Hey guys, Krista Bull here from Esperlux. We are in beautiful Geneva for Geneva Watch Days. Joining us today is uh, Recep Recepi of Caribia. We are in his awesome atelier and uh, so much to talk about with you today. But first of all, what's new? What's going on? How are things? Uh, what's the update? We got some great watches. Tell us what's going on. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for, for having me here or having you here. Yeah. And, um, no, it's a really pleasure. Many, many things, you know, we are close and done in our workshop, so we didn't really see the outside, you know, but yeah, we are focused today on, on different watches. We're trying to do better what we did uh, until today. And uh, yeah, this is the last. So this is our CC. We launched in May, end of the May. So it was a long, long, long process. Mm. Um, many people waiting to say, frankly. Uh, and, um, but you know, we wanted to do something who correspond to us, correspond to our philosophy and who um, we can be proud of it. So yeah, finally happened. Um, so yeah. So in addition to the new watches, we also have something new regarding the Acrivi Atelier, and that's the new workshop across the street. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, yeah. So, you know, this watch uh, I, I, I present uh, this year and, um, and you know, after 10 years, uh, this is what we are able to do. And uh, uh, this is the representation of what we learned all these 10 years. And this workshop also represent uh, our, our goal, you know, because we want to learn more. And, you know, we started again in 2012. And at this moment, uh, I start with this workshop and we start doing the decoration, the assembling, and slowly we became to the, to the uh, engineering. So we started doing the engineering. And after that, we want to learn more. So we go to take Mr. Hagman, Mr. Hagman come join us and we create this new workshop um, about the case. So we start to learn the case and now we just started to doing some component. And this is uh, uh, what what is important for me. You know, I want to learn, I want to go more deep. And uh, again, you know, when I started to doing this watch, I remember during all this process, I wanted to doing like a George Daniels to trying to understand what he did and everything. But, and I realized, you know, after, after time, month and month, you know, I realized I, I became a little more uh, um, minimalist. You know, mm -hmm. if you want to do something, you have to make sense to doing something, even aesthetically. You know, we, if we're talking about the crown, you know, here you have a big crown because you have uh, a watch who have a lot of power reserve. So, mm -hmm. and at the end, it's 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 an instrument. You know, you have yeah. to wind, so the crown need to be comfortable. You need to feel it, and and this is why it has this size. So everything around, I think had something special or, or makes sense. And this is why all this workshop uh, I create, I wanted to, to, to teach myself. So we have the RRCC2, which was the long awaited successor to the RRCC1. And, uh, you know, RRCC standing for uh, Recep Recepi Chronometre Contemporain. What was the objective with uh, the CC2? Uh, as opposed to the CC1? The objective maybe is, is too selfish, but you know, after we finished the, the RCC1, uh, 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 you know, the goal uh, was to doing 200 of, of this uh, in this collection, you know, uh, and, and after the 50, first 50, uh, you know, I say, I cannot just take a, a dial and, and just change the color. And mm. so this is why I, I wanted to create something totally different. So aesthetically the same because it's in, the, it's in the same collection, but finally it's a new case. Uh, the dial, it's reworked. Uh, it's totally new uh, uh, movement. Um, you have to train of wheel. Uh, it's, it's really different. It's really different watch. It's really different watch. And um, again, uh, I can do something, uh, just a, a different color of dial, but you know, if I do this, I will not challenge myself. And I think really the life it's, you know, if you wake up in the morning and you say, okay, you're lazy, it's a good day today. I think this doesn't push you. And for me to try to have a uh, new challenges, and this was a really new challenge, um, became like a, a normal discipline and you can just do better. So it's all about to push yourself and this watch represent uh, 
my philosophy. And and in terms of the actual watches themselves, so two versions are going to be offered. Yes. Each fifty pieces each, if I'm not mistaken, right? And you're going, we're going to have the platinum um, with the always Grand enamel dial. But in this case, you've also added uh, this beautiful decoration on the seconds on the second style at six o'clock. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the decoration on the, the second sub dial? Yes. So, um, you know, we did it also for the only watch and uh, I think in 2014 or 15, if I'm not wrong, uh, we started with this hand hammering and, uh, you know, I, I like the texture and we tried many things. And this is also uh, what I call a grave gratte. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's not a... Um, it's not a guilloche, but it's really, I did myself with a knife and we did this decoration. Um, what I like, it's, you can see something uh, work there and we put some enamel, translucent enamel. It's here, it's in gray. On, to on top of yes, the, yes. Uh, the grave gratte dial. Exactly. And after that, you have the other parties in black. And um, I think bring something very modern. And I like to have some difference because, you know, it's too much. So you can really express yourself in yeah. two different ways. So you have one more classic, who uh, I think the rose gold is a little more classic. And the other one is a little more modern. And then in terms of the rose gold, this is the first time that you're doing this sort of... Um uh, egg, I guess, um, what would you call it? Eggshell dial? Ivoire. Uh, Ivoire. So ivory, ivory dial, that's right. And, and also confer enamel. Yes. Uh, and then, um, and which gives us beautiful contrast on this, uh, on this rose gold, uh, on the rose gold case. Um, maybe a little bit more classic yeah. from an inspiration perspective. It is very, very classic, I think. And this is, this was the goal, you know, I want to get, we have two watches here. So I think it's even more challenging to do something. Uh, I've done the same watch, but totally different. And yeah, and uh, personally, I like it. Uh, I like it, uh, this, this color, because you have this yellowish uh, dial, a little, you know, ivory, but I think match very well with, uh, with this rose gold. And, um, and yeah, uh, with this uh, purple hand, also small touch, uh, but again, what I like on this watch, you know, it's simple, yeah. you know, it's variable, it's a band, uh, an instrument, and this was the goal, you know, you have a watch simple, you can wear every day, and, uh, and yeah, but you have a lot of work there, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, well, the, the, it, it's simple on the front, but obviously the movement and everything that, that results in the display of time, is quite remarkable and that's i mean that obviously is the uh is what's took the majority of the time to get to, to where you are today so um an entirely new caliber for the rrcc2 from uh from the first um you know from the first single barrel 100 hours you have now gone into two barrels twin barrels tell us a little bit more about the twin barrels tell us a little bit more about the movement um, and, uh, and also the deadbeat seconds, which we also see, um, the second mort, uh, on the dial. So I'm just going back just about the case, because, you know, the case, for example, you have 15 part, you know, yeah. and you know, this case, we did everything in house with Mr. Ragman. Yeah. And honestly, I would say this, I really underestimated. And I think it will be a little more easy. But I realized it was a really, really challenge. And we took, for being able to present this quality, we took about two years. And this is, I would say, first of my, uh, I'm really proud of, of it because really I, I underestimated myself and I, I think it would be more easy and realize it's very, very, very complex. Uh, after that, for sure, you have the movement and the movement is again, totally different. You know, when you construct a movement for hundred watches, I think means something. And this is again, it's our way to do. And yes, here you have two train of wheel. We have one train of wheel who give us the right time. And we have the other train of wheel who come, uh, give us the dead beat second, the minute and the hour. What I liked on this uh, conception, uh, you have one movement will push and will be not a constraint in the other movement. Mm -hmm. um, Even though it's all the barrels, one barrel. Exactly. 
so so yeah i wanted also to keep the chronometry i don't want to affect the chronometry so this is why i choose to 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 having two train of wheel and i think on this uh, other part you know the aesthetic part i think uh, makes sense for me because you know i still have this symmetry yeah. uh, you have still this deep you know i like the beautiful anglage beautiful code de yeah, it's, it's 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 really interesting to see how how you've created the symmetry with you know obviously we have got the double barrel the, the twin barrels but the the balance cock mirroring the the gear train on the other side i mean it's really nice very interesting way how, how you've done all of that the case is also slightly different in terms of the lugs the lugs are a little bit longer and that comes from a uh, from you know the, the specific inspiration perhaps that you could tell us a little bit more about too you know when i asked mr hackman to do this during three months and a half he said me no no it's not possible it's not possible we can do with this machines you know we cannot are you crazy why are you doing this everybody evolve but you don't evolve you know <laughs> and 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 uh, finally you know i explained you know more and and he found very interesting and he came one day with um with this machine uh, with this machine uh we bought all the stock so it's, it's really interesting and after that we come in because you know if you look at this watch you have the bezel the bezel is over but the case is round mm. so to put it the two together it was a really really a challenge you know why we did it because when you look at in the the côté you know the side of the case you can really see following the logs and going down you know and it's a very small detail but this is what we like in acrylic you know we like the small uh, details like this you can yeah. really see the difference yeah. um but yes it's totally new case you have 15 part on this on this case you have the locks are soldered and again we do without cnc machine this case so it's a really 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 a challenge and again during two years it was you know a real challenge every day and uh, would you say the case was the most challenging part of the RRCC2? Because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nouveau métier, you know, it's a new, yeah. new, new job. Yeah. We didn't know, you know, so you have to learn, you have to set up all the workshop. And when you finish one case, it's good. Yeah. But well, you, know, you have to produce another, you know, beautiful <laughs> yeah. like this, you know, yeah. and you have to work uh, in the small details. And you know what makes me most proud? about it mr mr hagman say it's one of the most beautiful cases he did in all his career so it's a, I'm, it's a, I'm it's a big deal when, i'm happy when the legend says that yeah. yeah and again you know the case maker and the watchmaker has a different uh perspective of the yeah. quality and we we have to find a good way of, of, of working together so <laughs> but yeah finally i'm, I'm really happy and uh, again i'm really proud because it was a, a, a real challenge what were some of the things from the RRCC one that perhaps you weren't able to achieve that you were looking to do with the RRCC two? Many, many steps, many steps. But again, you know, five years ago, I was not the same than, than today. Two years ago, I was not the same. 10 years ago, totally different. And the experience every day grow you know you learn many things and and sometimes you realize something and say wow why you didn't think it before but yeah. it's life it's life you know it's it's you have too much too, too much steps on, on on the watch and and uh for example we work a lot for example in the chronometry for the movement in the chronometry we evolve a lot um for example you know if you look at the construction here the balance wheel is not on the top of the bridge of the second, for example, because we wanted to have a better access for going working there and adjust the balance. You know, you have many, many steps. I can explain you, but I think I, I'd be a, a little too I mean, much. We can talk, we can talk about this all day, you know. <laughs> too much, you know, but, but you have many, many, many steps. And this is what I like it, you know, because you cannot really stop. And, you know, unfortunately, I, I have to say, we finished this watch, yeah. but we are, we're working on different, you know, yeah. we're working on different. Well, I guess it's a, it's a great way to segue into my next question is, so now after five years, we see the successor to the RRCC1 and uh, in the CC2. What can we expect from Acrivia uh, and maybe the AK series uh, down the road? Is that something that perhaps we can anticipate from you? The only thing I can say to you, 
we are, you know, an independent uh, workshop. And uh, what is good about it, and I'm very lucky, I'm trying to, to make happy myself. So, yeah, you know, we don't have, uh, I have many plans today. Yes, uh, I have the next, I would say, eight to nine years are already done uh, in, in terms of creation. But, you know, when we are ready with something and we are okay to launch, we will launching. But today, I would not say if it will be the, uh, the AK series or, 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 or yeah. classic series. But, you know, personally, I like the AK, you know, so, yeah. so I like also the RRC. So was, it, was what drew, it was what drew me to the brand. I mean, you know, for sure. Yeah. For me, again, it's, they are my, my, my two babies and, and, and I, I just to you love them differently. Yeah. Both the same, but different. Yeah. Well, you know, the AK, for example, I think was incredible design since, uh, you know, we learned this 10 years ago and uh, yes, now we have the demand, what we expect yeah. at this moment and more people understand it, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess the, the other question I have for you and, and, and this is more, it's not product related, but there's clearly more pressure today, both in terms of people wanting access to a Creview, but also for what you're supposed to come up with next, because you've set the expectations to the benchmark so high. How do you manage that? How do you, how do you, st how do you stay sane when you, know, you have all this pressure from all these collectors and retail partners and all of that to, you know, to, to perform and to produce. But oh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> well, honestly, yes, it's a lot of pressure, but at the same time, you know, like you see, you are here closing our workshop. So yeah. at the end we are not, uh, you know, I'm not traveling every day. Uh, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm working on my bench. I'm happy to be here. I'm concentrated on, on, and, and focus on, on, on what I want to, to do. And again, my discipline today, and really I put like this, I want to do better than yesterday. So, you know, what you can say if, if you cannot, you know, you're doing your best. Yeah. So then people have to understand we are a small team. We have a philosophy we have to respect. Uh, yes, for sure. The demand is crazy. Many people want more watches. We're trying to do our best. If we can do a little more, we'll do with pleasure a little more. But what it's important, you know, we really to keep this quality and this philosophy who, who make me happy, you know, yeah. you know, I want to come in my workshop every morning and to be happy. You have challenges, but you want to be happy. And for me, this is very, very, very important. And again, I'm feeling quite honest about it. Um, yeah. I try to do my best. I'm trying to do my best. You want to go home to your family, happy, relax. You don't want to stress yeah. out about these things. Yeah. It's, it's understandable. Yeah. You know, before I, I really, I trying to understand why I was frustrated because, you know, you finish your day and you are, you did what you can and, and, and but you are still frustrated. So today I'm, I'm happy with it. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's okay. It's part of my life. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, you want just to do better, but you cannot really go more fast than, than, than what is possible. Yeah. So, so yeah. And we're not meant to go fast with this stuff. Right. Yeah. This is the other problem I had, you know, <laughs> you have some standard you want to respect yeah. and, and, uh, yeah, but I, I love what I do today and, and I'm lucky guy, I think really. Awesome. Recha. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you very much. Always great to see you. Thank you for having us at your beautiful shop, beautiful day. We'll spend some time out in the garden today. Thank you very much. It's right, a pleasure. Cheers. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks for joining us guys. Stay tuned for the next video.